First thing you do is take a little screwdriver. You guys have to be real gentle about how this comes out. It comes out pretty easy. Next, you're going to... 21 millimeter deep impact socket. Just one squeeze ought to do it. You want to be careful not to just let it sit there and ride because it'll tear up the thread. Got that? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you if I was going to, I'm going to take the rotors off as well, but I'm going to show you if I was going to take the brakes off and just do a pad job real quick. Switch to a 15 millimeter. Remember, it's lefty loosey. You'll notice two 15 millimeter bolts back here. Here's one. Fifteen millimeter, then right on the bottom. Well, hold on a second. Let's rock and roll this thing on out of here. This one just doesn't want to turn freely, but. I'll put some stuff on it later. Alright, so these two bolts are out. You can just slide the cradle out. As you see, the brakes are right here. Now I'm going to gently just kind of lay this right here. You don't want any stress on this, but since I know what I'm doing on the... As far as... This is as far as it's going, I'm not going to put any stress on it. Now, you see these brake pads will just pop out. You get the idea. But my problem with this car is the rotors are shot. They're from O'Reilly's. They're expensive kind of mid-grade ones. But the warranty's almost out two years later. They're just terrible. Alright, now you're going to switch to the 15. I mean, I'm sorry. 18 millimeter. You're going to have two anchors that hold this on right here. Well, hold on. Oh, shit. Let me switch to a breaker bar. Okay, pause it. Alright, I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, you usually get a soft little hammer like this. Just put a little bit of tapping on the... There we go. It broke. Just a little bit of pressure. You see it's just kind of rolling right off now. And away it comes. My nice little noisy air compressor. It's off. So there you have it. You got two uh, 18 millimeter 215s. A lot of times, this right here will just slide off. But as usual, not today. That's your rotor. All right, join me in a second. I'm going to show you how to put it back together. I'm going to go see if they warranty this or not. Okay, so now we're ready to put everything back together. I've got this flat piece of, I guess, uh, I guess metal, candy, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter what you use, something flat. And Anyway, I've got a little C-clamp right here. There's all kinds of things you can use to compress this down. And you just compress it down. Like that, and that's pretty much it. That's a wrap. Well, maybe a little more. Okay, that's a wrap. And basically what this is going to do is going to allow the brake pads to fit inside of there. Or it's going to go over the brake pads with no problem. Let me get my assistant to help me. Right here. Hand me that thing I just built over there. Cradle that has this in here. Look at how 
nice and flat this is, that's going to be your major problem that you have if you don't compress that. Because there's no way to get it over your brand new brakes. Now, what you guys might have noticed is, from the last clip, here's your new rotor right here. Nice and clean, ready to go. It just slides on with absolutely no problem. Then you take your cradle and it'll go on just like this. See your pads just slip in these little corners right here. And see they're real easy to work with. And then you, uh, of course, you'll see the leads right here coming in. And you're just, of course, going to slide them up over. Okay, follow it for a second. All right, guys. I, before I put those on, I want to show you something. Just in case you're having a little confusion about any of this. These two right here, these two pistons, right there, they're going to hold down the, the top piece where the, the push is coming from. All right, now, the two in the back, the 18 millimeters, they actually go like this. This is how it actually looks without the, you'll just put them in on the back here. So I'm going to put the rotor on. Then I'm going to slide this on over top of it, put my bolts on, and then um, we'll worry about, actually I'm going to put the pads in, and then we'll put the uh, actual cylinder on. Alright, go ahead and pause it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how these brake pads go in, because it's kind of a, you know, just one of those things you just need to see once and you'll be fine. How I put mine in is I put them in from the outside, so I just take them. You see right here, it's got the little clips. See it? Yep. Okay, you just take them, line them up. Push it in ever so easy. Turn around. Make sure they, it's going the right way for the disc to catch. Take them. Take this one. Slide it in. And they should be pretty much a matching pair. Okay, pause, and I'll go stick it over there on the, uh, I'm going to put All right, I'm going to put a little bead of grease right here. This is how you keep your brakes from squeaking, if you're lucky. Nah, man, I'm just messing with you. It was just so intense because it was quiet. Okay, here we go. We got this one right here. Yeah, this is nice and fun. Not. But worth it when the brakes aren't screwed. Yeah. Of course, if you're Jennifer, you're going to be griping and complaining about your brakes. So let me go ahead and shut her up right off the bat. All you guys out there, y'all understand. And I'm sure that all of the ladies understand too. Of course they do because they all stick together. That's right. So anyway, as you see, the car man actually has to fix his own car today. Well, his better half's car. I would like to think my half. I'm bring something there. Okay. All right, let me reset this, and then we'll be ready to put it on the rotor. They pop out real easy. So just put it on pause. Yeah. All right, you're good with that. Nice little helper there. Of course, it couldn't be our kids. They're too sorry to actually do anything. It's one of their friends. Of course, we had a barbell with a Big Mac. You know how that goes. Yeah. All right, so this is how. I want you to notice, everybody. See, that's compressed completely back. Everything's good. Everything in the world is happy and aligned. Take these. Just kind of. There you go. Just kind of sitting there. Now, guys, when you get in your car, do not just take off. You're going to have to hit the brakes a couple times and let them get reset, okay? Because you will not have any brakes after compressing that. Just thought I'd throw that out there. They probably appreciate it. Of course they do. That's why you're going to subscribe.
I actually don't subscribe. The more you subscribe, I have to keep doing more videos. <laughs> because I'm ate up with it. You see, I love it. Like, I'm looking at these videos. I'm like, how many views did I get? And like six months have gone by and I got like four. <laughs> don't laugh. The first time, I only had one after six months. Then I found out it was when I looked at it. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Sure it yeah. will. Anytime you don't have to pay a mechanic. Yeah, it's all about saving money, guys. It really is. I know I'm very humorous. Not. Or he thinks he is. No. What I am is poor, broke, desolate, and have to fix my own stuff because I can't afford a mechanic. So, by the way, honey, I hope your brakes work. <laughs> He's guessing this, though, right? Okay. So the 18 millimeter that's in the back, it's going to require about, I think it was 70 pounds or so. Look it up. And uh, these one, little ones right here, about 25. I'm going to go ahead and torque them. Of course, I should make you watch me torque them since I have to suffer through it. All right, put it on pause. I'm going to make them watch me torque them. All right, so now you have to suffer with me. I'm making you watch me torque this bad boy. And there she goes. By the way, just for the record, it was 86 pounds. I hope your tire didn't fall off. Um, you should never believe what you see on the internet anyway. Just kidding. The Toyota Forum hit it at 86 pounds. And you know what? It's a little tricky to get to. But I got to it. And the little ones at the top, they're calling 25. And you know, you can pick up a little torque wrench if you're a do-it-yourself kind of guy. Harbor Freight, I don't know, three or four thousand. I mean, twenty bucks. And I'm trying to get her down here to the twenty-five range. The writing's really small. I have one of these really cool ones that costs a lot of money. That's electronic and it actually talks to you. But unfortunately, it never works. So. Wow, this thing is really a pain, just because of its size. Um. Oops, sorry about beating your car, dear. I know you probably don't believe me, but I really am apologetic. Okay, you never want to use a torque wrench to tighten these things down to that level. It takes too long. Or you're not patient like me. I'm not patient. Now, that one's ready for a torque. Yeah, my sister said something about twerking. I don't know if it's the same thing. So, Michael, is that how you twerk? Yeah. Okay. Pretty, pretty He's in high school. He knows all the cool stuff. He's got all these life things he teaches everybody. Say hello, Michael. Deuces. <laughs> okay. Here, she's on. And she's on. Brake job complete with the exception of a tire. And these are 76 pounds of torque. Guys, pay attention to that because a lot of people break their wheel studs. Or they don't do them tight enough, or you go to some stupid ass at a tire shop and he's just running it on there as heavy as it'll go. It's really a safety hazard. You want to make sure these things are torqued at 76 pounds. Trust me, Toyota's got more money, more engineering degrees than all everybody you'll ever meet put together. They say 76 pounds. 76 pounds it is. Alright guys, look, I hope you enjoyed this. Or maybe you didn't, I don't know. I didn't enjoy it, but maybe you enjoyed watching me be miserable. Whatever it is, hope you subscribe, man. We'll catch you on the flip side.